Okay. Uh, one more. Uh, one. Okay, one more. Let's make, let's make a serious one. Seriously, 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 seriously. This is a serious one. No, we need Lacroix. Hashtag not sponsored, but Lacroix. I mean, think about it. Lacroix. Defects. Act for victory. Guarantee it. Be right back. No, no, get this is it, guys. No, no, no. Look, listen. I don't need to dumb myself down. No, no, no. All you non-believers, I'm going to make you a believer, okay? Let's find the path. Boom. Sparkle is perfectly aligned with four campfires right in the middle. Late shop. I mean, this is the run if I've ever seen one. Rare transform. Huh. Transform, baby. Give me the RNG. Oh, I'm liking the look of that. I'll be right back. Core shirts, let's go. Hipster water. Enabled. Okay. Hipster water is in effect. Okay, Bailey, do I sometimes do the daily? Um, not really, no. Sometimes. Yes, yeah, sometimes I do do the daily, but often I don't. Woohoo. Defrag versus Streamline. I mean, <clears throat> I love focus. Batchins, welcome. Sir, I believe that's called the power of Zeus. feeling it today okay okay we can't screw this up every pick has to be perfect phenomenal immaculate streamline stack steam barrier okay <laughs> yo batchins i know youtube youtube has spoiled you with uh perfect runs but yes I, i've got a mass takes i think non-stop the past two weeks I think it's Steam Barrier or Streamline. You think it's Steam or Skip? Uh, let me see. I like Streamline though. Do I overvalue it? Do I overvalue Streamline? Upgrade two random cards for 21 HP. We have two campfires here, so I can imagine one of them be a rest. 20 HP is a lot of life, that's true. It's gonna upgrade two strikes. I, I'd rather, you know, I'd rather choose my upgrades here. Mother Mary, come to me, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be. I was so off tune. Oh my god. <clears throat> Let it. I, mean, I, I can't even redeem myself there. That was just. 22 damage plus 12. Pretty good. Ball lightning go for the edge barrage. Well, ball lightning goes well with our biased. I would like to take singing lessons at some point, yeah. I would like to take singing lessons. It has been kind of awkward. If I do say so myself. I like the zap because it kind of makes bias feel a little bit better. I mean, it's a lot of, I have a lot of good upgrades here. Am I slurping too loud? Or do you like the slurps? That's kind of gross, isn't it? I can imagine that sounded really gross. I'm not going to check the VOD. That probably sounded extremely gross. Like Hannibal Lecter. Like some Chanti and Fava Beans. 
ate the face. I ate the skin. It was delicious with some chanti and some fava beans. Is that the line? What are we doing? Uh, you guys want defrag? Yeah, focus is obviously very nice, but I think going for like elite, we want like some um, few uh, a few things we can do here. That's not the line. Okay, so he says something about fava beans and, sh and shanti or something. Nice demons, congrats. Streamline zap, defrag are all great. Ball lightning is even good too. How I'm I'm not rich. Okay, let's, let's just slow this down. We're not. I'm not rich. Guys, I am not rich. I need those Twitch Prime subs. Believe me. Hipster water looks... This is not expensive. In fact, I reuse the cans and put tap water just to look like I have... Come on. Twitch Prime... No, okay. Um, my shoes? Oh, you guys, you guys, you don't want to see my feet. I have some dirty feet. Cause I, I walk my dogs. I'll show you a glimpse of my dirty feet. Because I walk my dogs and I wear sandals. Right? So my feet kind of get dirty. Kind of gross, actually. If you saw my feet, you would think, okay, you know what? Let's focus on the game. I walk my dogs in, in flip-flops, and as a result, yeah, whatever. Let's, um... Let's upgrade. Huh. What are we doing here? Well, we have two upgrades. We, we just upgrade everything. That's the that's the thing. That's the that's the plan here. Chrissy, why do you always come into the weird part of the streams, Chrissy? I'm not asking anybody else but you. Why? Did I play this fight 100% wrong? Yes, because I could have striked the first turn. Luck is on my... Oh, it's guaranteed. I could have striked ball lightning the first turn to kill one guy. We definitely want some cool snap to some frost. Um... Hmm. Love it. I love me some gold. I was gonna do Tempest, but I want to get some frost out first. So I'm gonna do cold snap, hologram, cold snap. For the big level place. Now I could have also made streamline twice, but I think having that consistent is gonna be fantastic. Question is, do you do bias now? It's a good question, eh? Streamline is feeling really awkward. I don't disagree. Well, I knew it was weird. I didn't know you were here, Chrissy. You didn't say a damn thing. I don't feel like we do bias just yet. But I also feel like we're going to have enough damage to kill him within three turns. No. Maybe I just get Tempest out of the way. Like, maybe I just play it for zero there. We're fine. We can do bias on, like, after I get the debuff. I can do bias now, technically. I could also go for lightning. I think that with the lightning with dual cast, wait, Tempest is kind of lethal coming up. Is Tempest not lethal? Is Tempest not lethal? Tempest is not lethal, Jeremy. But that is. So Bias was just glorified curse. Whoa! Wow, we got Defrag Glacier. That's actually a tough choice. More defrags are always really nice. But Glacier... 
is one of those cards you just need to have if you're going to have focus. And I already have Defrag Plus and I have a Bias Cognition and the Glacier would really round that out. Damn, this is tough. Because what is more focused without the Glacier, you know what I mean? Like, you, you would... By the way, let's take a look at this art. I never realized how nice this art is. I didn't realize the defects legit putting up a giant glacier. I didn't realize he had that ability. But I never realized, wait, I actually never put it into context. The fact that the defect has a card called Glacier. At what point did the defect get the ability to create and manipulate ice? Did I miss a memo? This guy is very. This guy is multifaceted. He has the ability to claw your eyes out. He can make a glacier. He can run really fast. He can charge your batteries. He can make rainbows and have Kappa Pride. I mean, this guy is... This guy, girl, whatever. He can do it all. One creative AI. Uh, yeah. I'm, be, I'm here all day, guys. Alright, let's do charge battery, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, I'm okay with that. Off time to cast chill. Shimmer is feeling awkward. You know what? You're not wrong about that. I prob see the thing is I could kill the guy in the back now. I probably should have done like hologram glacier to begin with, to be honest. But I felt like doing damage to the guy in the back. So now it's probably better for me to do this. I don't want to necessarily waste... So we have a big shop coming up, a focus spot. What's up, Batson? So my schedule has been messed up, but in a perfect world, in a world in which my schedule is okay, I stream at this time every day, yes. Now, let's hope it stays that way. But join the Discord to be notified, notified when I go live. But yes, my intention is to stream at this time every day and probably get, our, get off around 5 or 6 p.m. PST. Yeah, everything's okay, man. We got Recursion, Compile, or Sweeping Beam. Recursion seems kind of decent when I have Defrag and Bias Cognition in the deck. I think Compile for Card Draw is not bad either. Because we, we often have at least two different orbs, so this is I, I, in the least going to be Draw 2. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I can use bias more liberally. I, tr I agree. I agree. Wait, what's going on, Chrissy? Chrissy, are you, are you, Chrissy, are you saying what happened, Chrissy? You have questioning things. Oh, do we have AOE? We don't have AOE, no. But I think what we lack in AOE, we can smack them up single target in the slime fight with streamlined ball landing, cold snap. I think Recursion's pretty good, because if we're going to become Frail, I would like to have Recursion on the Frost Orb or Lightning Orb. I think I like Recursion. I'm not 100% sure, but I think with the Focus, it's not a bad idea. 
Whoa! <laughs> Sir, that is a snap pick if I've ever seen one. Now, what is... I mean, Trip is okay. Trip is, like, vulnerable. Eh. Sunder's pretty good. I like the Sunder as well. I like Sunder and Trip together. Should we just take Sunder and Trip? No, no, no. We definitely remove... Maybe remove a strike, upgrade the recursion, go for Orb City. I mean, it's hard to remove when Sunder... I mean, it's hard to not buy Sunder here. I think Sunder Trip was actually pretty decent to get a really good split on this guy. But I think if we go for the plan of recursion, like upgrade recursion... We can do a lot with the orbs in this fight. There's even, like, merit to getting Firepot. Firepot would kind of give me a guaranteed kill. Like, a really good free guaranteed kill. I think our deck's totally fine as it is. But Firepot means I can get another upgrade. And feel better about the upgrade. Because if I upgrade here, there's a chance in which we kind of get messed up. I mean, we have the weak pot, so we're probably fine. I can probably upgrade regardless, but I think the Firepot is definitely insurance. I like the Sunder, though. I just don't know how much I like the Sunder when I don't have it upgraded. I suppose I upgrade Sunder instead of Recursion. I like Hologram as well. I spent all my money, I know. Don't at me. So like I said, I was thinking Recursion, but I think since we have Sunder, the, the uptick in damage is pretty significant in this fight. Uh, we can go for Frost, we can go for Zappy Zap. Wow, what a turn, huh? So we can do... There's a lot of things we can do here. Money is useless if you don't spend it. Chrissy with the wisdom. So, we can do Tempests. Get it out of the cycle. Do some damage. Get the deeps going. We can get Streamline Down Ticket for damage. Down Ticket the cost, I mean. We can do Sunder straight up. We can do Glacier to have more consistent defense and use the Weaken next turn so we don't take damage to the face. For some reason, I like this the best. I think this play is the best. And I like Biased. No, but the Biased is problematic because Biased prematurely procs him. And I actually want to milk this one more turn. I want to milk it one more turn, and then we do a big bias, just as we're about to, like, right now we do the bias. We say, hallelujah, rejoice. Or we do streamline. Streamline is 20 damage. But I think biased into, like, defrag. And then from here on out, we have frost orbs and lightning orbs and all that stuff just doing tons of damage. And I think... We're going to be just fine. Smack him up. So we got Fission, Thunderstrike, and Amplify. Now, Thunderstrike with Tempest is something that's nothing you want to think about ever because it's probably pretty bad. I like the Fission here. Although Amplify seems pretty good when we have Defrag. And Biased. I don't know. It's actually... We only have two powers. It's going to be a curse most of the time. I think we just take the Fission. Well, that was... I mean, it's, it's really... Um, it, it was pretty easy for me to win that just because I had... Um, I have a really strong deck right now. The Lightning Steps are no joke. I know. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. No, I think the Plasma is pretty good, because we already have Recursion, and we have Runic Capacitor, means it's harder for me to evoke the Plasma. Yes, it does. It does, Trey Quill. It's harder for me to evoke this, and I can always recur, recur it with Recursion. I think I like this better, because I think Runic Dome and Act 4 is suicidal. There's also merit to transform three cards, get rid of three strikes. We only have one strike left in the deck, actually. 
Hmm. We'll take the plasma. I think the plasma is actually okay here. We have orbs to give me some more space, and we have recursion. Seems okay for me. If I end up winning this, I deserve a sponsorship from the Qua, considering... Uh, I'll stop there. Why do I love this so much for damage? Like, I know I could have full blocked, but I just love the damage, because I think something like Sunder is lethal. And let's talk about how Recursion gave me energy right there. Oh my god, we got... Okay. So Consume with Rune Capacitor is pretty decent, but at the same time, I like having my orb slots. And I don't really want to remove them, so I'd rather just go for the Defrag. Now, there is some consideration about how Defrag is worse against the Awakened One. Consume is a skill. I think we do Defrag anyways, though. I don't want to get rid of my orb slots. I'm fighting this bad boy. Ain't losing my gold. No way, no how. Hit him in the front, hit him in the front, 1 in 3, 1 in 3, 33% chance. Ah. Feels bad. Do we do Fission now? Do we do... Oh, imagine Fission Plus. Oh my god, imagine Fission Plus with Tempest Fission Plus. Oh my god. This needs to be upgraded ASAP. This would have been nutty. I'm almost- I'm really sad that it's not nutty right now. Cause like, I was gonna do fission, but I feel awkward about getting rid of my energy like that. Really? Boot sequence is a nice art, gotta take it. Boot sequence seems okay. Because we have powers we want to play. I think Beam Cell with Sunder is something I always like to take, right? I just love... You guys want boot so much? My god. My god. Overwhelming. Why does this feel so bad right now? Okay, there's two days there's two ways we can go here. There's two ways we can go here. I can do streamline hologram stream with kill one of them. Take eleven to the face. Doesn't feel very good. We could do charge battery, hologram, charge battery, hold snap. Take significantly less damage. And wait for Sunder. I could do recursion and get energy back and then do streamline cold snap, but that's not good enough. Well, technically we could do cold snap defrag, but that's still not good enough. Still like this play better. Just mitigate as much damage as possible and then Sunder wins the fight. Uh, streaming is okay. I got lucky there, I would say. Yeah, we're low enough because that, that the, the red mass fight kind of messed us up. I think capacitor is still okay here because we have enough focus to make capacitor worth it. Yes, we already have money capacitor, but I think having even more orb slots seems okay because we have glacier and uh, cold snaps. I mean... Maybe beam cell better for Sunder, or maybe just a skip. Who's the boss? Beam cell helps get rid of the artifacts. 
But also, getting capacitor means more frost orbs. Yeah. Ooh, so this is between Sunder and Glacier. I think we do Glacier. Do boot sequence? Yeah, we can do boot sequence or we can go for damage. Boot sequence or damage? Boot sequence or damage? Guess we gotta protect our life. Always. It's number one. Life is number one. I'm hoping that that buys us enough time. Or rather, we have enough time to kill him, I think. I think we do. Easy. F heal Sunder, rip and tear. There is some value if we don't rip and tear, but it's not. I think we just do FTL here. All right, uh, we gotta have to rest too. Come on, full heal, full heal, full heal. All right, guys, we got a one in six chance for a full heal. Let's see it. Close. That is, that is a heal. E. So if it is so awkward here. I should focus pot. I should have done it earlier. This, this is gonna be a rough fight. It's gonna be a really rough fight. It's gonna be a really rough fight. Oh my god. Not like this. Peppa hands. I do bias now. Probably premature. Probably very premature, but I'm. Bro, bro! You're alone! You're a. S what are you doing? Why does he cock me like this? He does not supposed to attack with no minions. Like, this is like very rare RNG, I say. He doesn't do this often. I mean, there's a chance if we do like... If we bring back Fission. Get wrecked. I ain't going down with, like, I'm not going down easy. Was Tempest lethal? Was Tempest lethal though? I didn't... I didn't check. Was Tempest lethal? Pepe hands. I gotta go full yellow face, right? I just have to. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're doing it. We're doing it, boys. Whew. I wasn't worried at all. You guys were worried. You guys were clenched. I was fine. I'm completely loose. That sounds a little weird. Uh, I'm not that loose. Um, you know, I'm still, I'm still maintaining the bowels, but I was loose enough. Loose enough for what, Jeremy? Okay. Let's figure out a better word for this. I was relaxed. Anyways, do we want recycle or program or sunder? I want to rest. That's what I want to do. Recycle. There's a world in which Pentagraph gives us. Pe no, nah, nah, I think it's no. Too far off. Too far gone. And then we upgrade fission. I think fission is going to help us out significantly. It's, I think it's a priority upgrade. I think it's such an impar I think I could even take an elite with that upgrade. So we just think Gremlin Lob, Gremlin Leader. So it's the Slavers or the uh, Book of Stabbing. I think Book of Stabbing wrecks us. We gotta just avoid it. We have to avoid it because Book of Stabbing. 
Book is just too hard. There's a world in which we can do it with like defrags and bias cognition and getting a lot of frost out there, but it, it's just too hard. We're too low in life. So remember what I said about fission? Wait a second. Recursion. Tempest. Fission. Holy monka. What a turn, dude. Oh. That's my crick acid. Defect first part is probably better. I 100%. 100% agree. But yeah, it, it makes my turn much better. Let's go for the weekend. I think the weekend's going to be pretty significant. It's going to be hard to hit, but it's pretty significant. I might have to fire pot this. I lied. Fire pot what? What are you going to fire pot? Oh my god, fission. Let's just let's take a moment. Take a moment. What a good card, dude. What a good card. Alright, so taking a relic here gives me one more strength. I mean, fission just works so well with Tempest and the uh, nu nuclear battery. One more strike is not significant for me. Uh oh. Vision, I'm gonna need you to save this right here. We're looking a little scared, a little frazzled, dazzled. 20 damage? Did we do 20 damage? Are we doing 20 damage here? Or are we. Or are we trying to block? Is boost secret, does boost secret suffice? Question is, if I do streamline here, is that damage that I'm doing now significant to like save me life later on in the fight? Because I'm thinking, but I'm only, I'm only getting three more block. Three more block is not that significant. Fission turn, I need you now. There you are. Never late. You're never late, Fission. Count on you all the time. It's too easy, baby. It's too easy. That's it. That's a go for the eyes plus. Wow. I actually think we take that, because I think the weaken and artifact stripping is significant in the hyper beam fight, because that really helps me block the hyper beam. Um, quite, the problem is I already have one smaller go for the eyes in and, and a deck that doesn't have card draw. I don't think I can afford to draw into go for the eyes more than once in the same hands. I have no card draw on this deck, except for Fission, so... I feel like taking something like this makes my draws a little awkward. FTR just cycles itself. It's just a cycle. It replaces itself, which... Doesn't really help our situation either. I think we need cool-headed pluses, and we need compile drivers and skims. Uh, I think taking go for the eyes, oof. but at the same time, with the amount of frost orbs we're gonna have because of the capacitor and runic capacitor together, 
If I can draw into a weaken and guarantee that I get the weaken with my passive block from Frost Orb, I think it's okay. Now, we're going to ready heal for 25. Now, is the resting important? Or do I want to upgrade Hologram so I can get the recursion from Hologram more often? I think the Hologram is effectively card draw, right? Hologram allows you to bring something back from your graveyard. Which is considered card draw. There's also Defect Plus. Defect Plus and we just max out on Frost. I know it seems too much. I know. The second low for that feels bad. But I mean, I'm imagining a world in which we have a lot of Frost Orbs. Because we have a lot of Orb slots. And then guaranteeing a Weaken would be a lot of damage mitigation. So that this Weaken actually can be considered a, like a block for 10 or 12 or 13 or however much. What's up, Canopy? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I have Panagraph. I think upgrading Hologram, to me, is the best thing. But at the same time, it's like... I'm only at, like, 44 health. It's not the greatest. Our deck is kind of a combo deck, a little bit with Fission. I guess I want to save that for the best opportunity. A turn like this doesn't feel good at all. But he has my fission, so I could try to time that fission with fire pot to up for his hyper beam. Or I could just kill him now. That works. The problem here is I don't I want to use fission like that, and I don't want to use bias early. We have room to get him weakened now. I'm gonna cold snap again. Okay, so now it's just me and the boss. We need to get the weakened, we need to get... I might just do Fission here, if I get it, hopefully. That's a decent turn. Oh! I meant to do Charge Battery Hologram. Oh my god. FML. Uh, I meant to do Charge Barry Hologram. I just lost 7 block. And that's significant. That 7 block significant. It makes me have 42 instead of 49. It's okay. Go for the eyes, you're so awkward, man. Come on. I think we do bots condition now. I don't see I probably should have done strength pot. Just because I forgot to use this to me, I should not do it now. Although I'm, now I have to kill this guy quickly. I guess this is a decent turn to do fission. Mm, this is fine. Do we want to save it for hyper beam? Because we already have passive block. At the same time, this is the most value I'm gonna get out of it at this moment because I have um bias condition. A lot of wasted energy. That that would have been. A great, I should have probably saved Tempest for that moment. If I saved Tempest, that would have been huge. I'm trying to go for lethal. Are we dead here? I think we are. A seven black was so significant. If I had seven more life, I would be alive. If I had seven more life, I would be alive. That's a slap on the face. That seven life was significant. I would live this turn and then the lightning plus next turn going to streamline FTL fire pot. I think we have lethal. Well, that's just that I guess that begs for a science because we missed a stupid play where we all around first and that was like a very clutch 
There's a very tense lethal there. That's unfortunate. I exhausted Tempest. I'm gonna try not exhausting Tempest, but. Yeah, but I still think that by using Tempest the way I did, I still had better cycle, right? And that's not insignificant. We had it though. We had it that fight, guys. We literally, we literally had the kill. I just uh, seven block was, was what I needed. I'd rather do. Okay, that is kind of cool. Okay, that is kind of cool. Okay, I shouldn't have exhausted it. Oh, uh, you're 100% right. You know what, what no goes well with this deck? Another fission. You're right, that was kind of cool. Oh, that felt very different. The juice has been held down for six months. Down for six months. Baku, that is some incredible juice holding abilities. Welcome back, you juice holder. This joke probably seems very strange to a lot of other people. But thank you. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Sorry, another fission you said? Um, let's see here. We have double defrag, right? And capacitor. We could make an argument for Amplify, because if Amplify hits one of these defrags, which it's likely to, or hits a capacitor, I think we're feeling okay about it. But Fission showed itself to be very useful. I just think Amplify with the defrag could be what I need oh, to kind of shit. break open the deck. How are you feeling about channeling these orbs again after fission? Yeah, that's the thing. Channeling these orbs again is going to be a little hard, but it also helps me get the Tempest combo. But for a boss fight, Tempest combo is probably not the, the best solution. I could do fission, Tempest, fission. Exactly. Fission, Tempest, fission. So basically, we do fission, Tempest, fission, and do crazy amount of things in all in one turn. That's what I'm thinking, right? Fission, Tempest, fission. That's pretty nutty. Yeah, I don't know. I like the Amplify here. You can no longer rest, but we get five energy a turn. Black Star. Tiny House seems okay. Max HP. Get a card, get some gold, get some potion. Huh. Well, also, you know, Fission is card draw, and we, our deck lacks card draw. <clears throat> Coffee Dripper seems risky. We have Pantograph, right? And we have Singing Bowl to get some kind of... I think Co Coffee Dripper seems risky. Mm. We have Guaranteed Elite Act 4, so there is, you know, some value. Black Blackstar this Elite, it feels really bad. I think the coffee dripper is too risky. I think stack is pretty good in our deck because our deck is pretty fat. 
Although, max HP is not bad either. Our deck is 30 cards of stack. Nah, but I think the, the, the Coppager would only help our energy value. We just need card draw. We're really lacking card draw right now. You knew as an advocate stack so predictable? Hey. Tell me why stack is bad here. I'm that guy. I'm the guy sitting at that bench asking you to tell me why this is bad. We have three holograms. We have 30 card deck. You tell me stack doesn't perform well? Stack with fission is kind of nice as well. Because I can kind of guarantee playing stack with a lot of cards before it. Because we get our defense from Frost. Hmm. I have to play powers. How big is my deck? Okay. So let's say we play, you know, one, two, three, four. Deck plus a curse. We get our deck down to 21 cards. It's still on average better than a defense, but I, I can I can see max HP being superior because I, I like what our deck's doing as it is. Let's just get more max HP. Awaken one. Okay, so we have all these powers. Let's put up to the test whether or not defrag is better than awaken one buff. That's a lot of campfires right here. A lot of them. There's one, two, three, four. But I would have to fight. I have to get no shop. So if I do this, I have to get late shop. I think it's worth it just to get that path. I think Glacier Bias is here. Glacier Bias is better here. Or maybe we just do... Well, Bias is fine, but... See, this is why I want... Damn. Five energy would have been sick. Let me see here. I... Well, Boot Sequence is covering the damage anyways, right? Because they're doing... 23. Yeah, this is better. I like this better. I probably should have done a recursion on the zap. That was my bad. <clears throat> Are we lucky or unlucky? Let's find out. Those are good. Those are good odds for us, though. I like compile. We need card draw now. Do we want skill pile over any of these? Dubious. Ah, uh, I don't like this. Now, if I do, if I neglect the two madness they're offering me, do I get two HP per madness? No, I, I know I don't, but I'm just okay. I guess we lose max HP, or we become cursed with Dubu Doll and get a little extra strength. Do we mind a Rive? We kind of do mind the Rive. We have Boot Sequence to kind of counteract it. But we get one extra Strength, and we also get max HP. We got a heal, which is seems significant. Madness with Hollerum can give you infinite block. You're not wrong about that. Madness with Hollerum gives us... There is a world in which Madness and Hologram is pretty nice. Should I consider Madness here? I don't have that much energy, to be honest. I only have four energy a turn. There's some turns where I have decent energy with like Fission and Recursion, but it's not often. I think the Madness is hard to set up for me. Sunder is okay for Madness, but it doesn't seem significant against the heart. Needs to hit both holograms exactly. I think Madness of Sunder doesn't seem significant though. For the heart, it doesn't, mean, doesn't do much. I mean, yeah, we have... I guess against the heart, we have a zero cost, 22 damage. It's okay. Is that going to win us the fight? I don't think so. I don't have a good card draw exactly. The only card draw I just picked up is Compile. Even if it hits one, you get 40 block.
Yeah, I don't think I know draw for madness. I agree. The question is, do we want Writhe so we can get a Vajra times two? Again, I don't think I can manage curses that well. I'll tell you what, though, guys. Wow. Part of me wants to do Sunder. But let's, let's be... Uh, let's be smarter than that. We have another hologram in the deck anyways. That's awkward. I see, I'll tell you what, I was gonna go get some uh, samosas downstairs. I'm feeling kind of hungry. I could have full blocked. That was my bad. Another fission. So Melther's significant, I would say, as a one of, because the Act Four Elite is pretty. Um, this is pretty good against the Act Four Elite, in my opinion. But Fission is kind of it is card draw, and our deck could utilize it. It's something about rechanneling the orb seems kind of difficult. But we can now do the Fission Tempest Fission that we were talking about, even though how, even that's very ambitious. I think Melther for Act Four Elite though, because the guy on the left gets a ninety nine block. And now we're rich. So we get an extra strength and the ability to upgrade cards at the start of each turn, but I think that pain is pretty bad for us. I'd rather just get the upgrade on the defrag and maybe the hologram. The hologram is, I guess, a card draw. All right, so let me go get these samosas on the plate. One sec. Hmm. Hmm. Watch, watch. Never mind. I thought to get fission. It's pretty good. Ball driver's pretty good here, right? Do I skip this elite? Do I skip this elite? Raptor with Sunder. Raptor with Sunder Fission and Tempest as, a, as an out, but also Raptor with Sunder and... Streamline. I think the giant head is kind of awkward too. It's not worth it. The giant head is awkward. Don't ask me why I just did hologram. Don't ask me why. 
That was stupid. Now I lost all my energy, so... I mean, it's a little problematic, but at the same time... I think we just get Glacier back. Like, I'm okay. I don't know. I mean, maybe doing buys is a little, is a little early, but... Uh, I don't know. That's, that's probably pretty bad, because now I'm... I, I actually probably just lost this fight. I don't know. I can see myself losing this fight now. Hmm. Hmm. Look at our gold. What the hell? Wow, Shanzo. Wow, Sh Shanzo. Wow. 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 Chanja, wow, man. I don't know what to tell you. Someone do the math. Someone do the math. Too late. Hmm. Oh, that's so fat, my God. I'm not trying to do No Shave November, but it looks like it. Tempest, Fission, Tempest, Fission, Dream. Let's just do that all game. Fission, Tempest, Fission, Tempest, Fission, Tempest, Fission. Technically, if we have enough Fissions and Tempests, pretty good. Yeah, I know. I think we take a charged battery here. But what is all for one doing for us? It, like the recursion. <laughs> um It could recur recursion. That's a tongue twister. It can bring back the go for the ice to guarantee the um weaken. It can bring back fission when I wasn't willing to use fission earlier, and I can use fission all for one can help me use fission as like a fifth hologram in my deck. Bring me back zap. Bring me like streamline after some time. Is any of that significant? Maybe the weakness significant? The ability to kind of bring back the debuff? And the ability to maybe do some more damage with Streamline? Don't know how significant that is. In a deck that this, uh, that's this fast, uh, this fat, I can imagine Alpha 1 could be okay. You're recreating my deck? Nice, man. I, um, I didn't beat Bad North on hard, no. I, um, I haven't beat it yet on hard. I think Overwatch is probably fine here.
Melter, Jeremy Melter. All right. Uh oh. I don't know about- ooh, wow. Took him 20 tries? Wow. Pinhandler, what was the secret? He just- he just, he just had to try a lot of times? Yeah, I imagine if I try enough times, I'll beat it eventually. I think this is- this is cool headed here. Singing bowel? Why are your bowels singing, festive? Do you have festive bowels as well as a festive Bolescus? Is Bolescus a nickname for your bowels? Because they're singing and they're festive. Either way, I'm impressed. Whatever the answer is, I'm impressed. Wow, what a turn. What a turn. I feel like doing bias cognition early. I'm not liking this. This is looking monka. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. I need damage ASAP. I need damage. I need damage. I need damage. Fuck. I don't want to get rid of the, the energy just yet. Fission, where you at? Fission, 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 where you at? Oh, Melter! Okay. Ha, ah, this deck is looking... Hmm. I kind of like Recursion because it works in all for one. I, are we just putting a... Are we just putting bad stuff? Like, I think Recursion is okay with Plasma, right? And everything else. I think Recursion is fine. But we have a lot. This, this has to save us. Kunai with FTLs. And is that the scaling we need? The one we trust? If we have enough gold, might, might as well. No, do we take Apotheosis? Apotheosis seems okay. Because it makes my holograms upgraded. And it upgrades my other Recursion. I take the Apotheosis here. Skim I take. Removal, I remove. I think I remove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, before, hey, before, let, slow down, slow down, slow down. Do we want loop? Because loop gives us block for the heart. Act four shop. Fuck. What the hell? Oh, I thought he got gold plated cables. I was like, what the hell just happened here? Sorry. I, I, I got confused. Sorry, that was a very new mistake of me. Amplify capacitor. Huh, this is... This is dubious. I think we have to look for fission. I'm thinking about doing Tempest, but... Huh, Defrag's too good. I think we had to look for Fission, right? 
Ah, uh, there's so many things I can do. Card draw, I can do d defrag, I can do melter. I think card draw is fine. Fission, you arrived. Now the question is, is this an okay fission turn? I think so, because we can do Tempest after. And Tempest seems pretty good. Another defrag? I mean, this is pretty damn good. Like, I could do Glacier as well on top of that, but that's also, this is technically blocked for us. And then Bias Cognition on top of that. So if I do Bias Cognition, I'm getting five more focus on six orbs that are doing seven. So they're going to be doing 12 times six. Seems good. Wow, man, we are getting Kunai procs. I did do Apotheosis first. I'm gonna skip here. Gamblers Brew. I'm gonna rest my butt. Oh, no, no, okay, no, wait, wait, wait. Ah. Jeremy. I swear that it's not on purpose. I'm so tilted right now. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, what a what a turn. Jesus Christ. Whew. Wow. <clears throat> now this is not sponsored but you know what i need for the second half of this run because this this later half is a whole run in itself another the quaff mm. mm. okay probably this is first turn pretty good you know despite this being kind of an awkward turn i can forgive it for giving the his first turn I, I could forgive that Question is, do we want to use any of our potions? Now, the thorn pot seems pretty good against the heart, right? I can imagine maybe plated armor is okay in this fight. I think we save the thorn pot though. All right. A lot of, we have a decent amount of powers. I think, I think we're playing defrag regardless. Although, all right. Okay, let's slow down here. Do we do fission on this turn? Just to kill these guys, these little minions, ASAP. Is this a fission turn to get kill the minions ASAP? And then from there we just kind of focus on the boss? I think we fission this turn. No, 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 But then we lose our energy. We don't have four energy a turn. Ah. Now, this is awkward.
Okay. Oh, why is this on? What the hell? Thank you. Do we get rid of Tempests? Probably, but... What's up, Jawa? How you doing, buddy? Wow. Charge battery is king. Can we talk about that? Let's focus on getting Kunai procs here. Welcome to the stream. What happened with the giant PP? What were we talking about with the bits? Is this a Tempest turn? Now here's the thing. This seems like a Tempest turn because, okay, get it out of the cycle, but also it gives me block, but then I'm going to draw into my Glaciers and my Cool Headed coming up. So this seems like a Tempest turn. Because we're drawing into our Glacier and Cool Headed coming up. All of it's coming up. Recursions. So we have the cool headed. Okay, the recursion was offered just because. We get Kunai proc, but the recursion was offered just because of. Um, I, I didn't want to keep the light lightning necessarily. Okay, but maybe Kunai is worth it here. Well, it's not over Glacier. The fact that the fact that the uh, hologram draw upgrade is really nice. Thank you for the 100 bits. It feels like you need a university degree to understand this guy. What do you mean? Me? Because I'm saying words like recursion, it's a weird word, I know. How much is he doing? He's doing 12 times 4? Hmm. That's significant. That's pretty significant. Did we just do Glacier? He's doing 48. Okay, so, sorry, is Glacier good enough? It's 10, and then I'm evoking orbs for 12, right? So that's 12 plus another passive, uh, 6 times 6, that's fine, 6 times 5, that's fine though, <clears throat> okay, we're fine. Let's get, let's get as much weakened as possible. To me, that's super important. Just weaken him for the rest of his life. We also get Kunai, by the way. So we have four dexterity. Apotheos was actually really good for this deck. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but... Yeah. Very happy with Apotheosis. Kunai all day, baby. He's weakened for eight turns. It's pretty good. Do it again. Kunai Prox as well. I, I know I'm not using all for one. I should probably try to use all for one now. I don't want to do Capacitor right now because there's no need for it. I'd rather wait for him to be... Uh, I'd rather do it on a turn where he's about... Where he's not going to get strength off of it, basically. So I, I could totally do... 
I can just do capacitor when he's not gonna get strength offered. I can even do amplify capacitor when like Yeah, I don't want to give him strength. That's basically my that's my my thing. So we'll do it now. Get the capacitor out of the way now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Amplify is dead, but we can do amplified body condition still if we want to. Um, I want to keep getting the weaken. I guess all for one gives me the weaken and it gives me Kunai proc. Win win, right? Seven dexterity now. Seven dexterity. Pretty good. Got rid of the void and I got another weekend, so that was a very good compel driver. More weekend for the rest of his life. More dexterity. So we won. Now let's see the next bosses. putting lightning because I want to try to do more damage, but I, I can imagine this lightning is probably not the best idea. I have yet to even use Streamline. That's hilarious. 10 dexterity, by the way. My dexterity, my, my, my blocks are almost better than my frost orbs. They're actually, they are better. Look at that. It's 20 block right there. What the hell? It's disgusting. The bias is not supposed to be good in boss fights unless you have the artifacts, of course, yes. That doesn't mean bias is not good. And it still has a purpose in boss fights as well. Like, I can use bias now, even though it's not necessary. I can use it to clean up the fight. I was very... I, I think we perfect that fight, actually. Okay, Pantograph, so good. So, we didn't, we didn't get Apotheos' first turn. Somehow I feel like the deck's a lot worse. Without Apotheosis, I feel very feeble. Apotheosis, please. Ow. I didn't draw a weaken either. I guess we could do cool headed to try to find a weaken. But if we don't get a zero cost card, okay. So we procced him, but at what cost? So that was another thing where. I think I got the weaken. Oh god. Is it like this? I get this out of the way. This fish is coming up. It's crazy how Apotheosis early it helps a lot so much, right? I think we can stabilize now. It's gonna be dubious because we don't have like consistent upgrade and scaling, but I think we can stabilize. I don't know if we do fission now though. I don't think so. Thorn power, I was gonna say thorn power for the heart. I'm saving Throne Power for the heart. I think we don't need Throne Power, but I could be wrong. I don't think we do Fission now, though. There's four cards left, so we definitely don't do Fission now, but I think we just do this. Next turn we have three. Three, three, three. One of them is a weekend, maybe. It's 
So that's going to be 24. Fission turn. I just want to get Kunai here. I want to get rid of some of these slimes. I know I just, I just did six, but... I used six cards, I mean. Uh, I guess we... Uh, this is awkward. I'm trying to go for Kunai again. Ah, uh, this is awkward because now I only have two cards. Ah, uh, this is really awkward. I might have fucked up. I might have fucked up. Is the weekend enough? I might have fucked up. I probably, probably fucked up. Is the weekend enough though? I think I fucked up. The weekend makes it like 45. I can only do weaken right here. It's because I was so greedy for Kunai. Whereas if I just save myself some cards, I can do like charge battery, weaken, defend. I, I can do a lot more. The weaken is how much though? He's gonna get two strength. Doing 23 times three. Weaken. Hmm. It's like 18, right? No, defense charge is not enough. So I only have 30. 30 plus um, 17 is 47. And he's doing... He's doing a lot. He's doing... He's doing 69. He's doing 69 damage, but if I do the weaken, he's going to get down to like 50... Fifty-four, right? Then I'll block for thirty-six. Thirty-six plus thirteen, I would die. I'm dead. I'm dead. The weekend doesn't even save me. No, because by the time I do charge battery defend, he gets two strength. Because when I do charge battery defend, he gets two strength. And then also when I do. Hologram weaken, he gets to strength again. So I think you're taking him on 18 times 3. I'm pretty sure. It's around like 50. It's around like 54. 54 is probably okay. So it's 36. No, because I only have 49 block. I fucked up. I guess we can science here. I fucked up here though. I do play way too many cards. I, I only can play one card after the hologram, so it, it has to be the weekend. That's the best thing. It, it, the the, the problem. I uh, science. I feels bad. I I didn't want to have the science here. Fuck. 
I just fucked up there. I fu that was totally my fault. I think the deck's... I think the deck can handle it. I've, I've really messed that up. Yeah, that's my bad. I wonder if we do... Uh, is it worth wasting hologram? Yeah, there's just that one turn where I played like I played way too many cards leading up to that attack. Also, this turn is really awkward for us. Cause I could I could do I could do like compile driver and try to find a weekend or something. I suppose we just pass. That turn right there is the worst turn for us. That just takes so much of my life. It's also a really bad turn for us as well. I wonder if we just pass pass here. Or we take the. So we have to, it's, we're just forced to take the hit, which is like. Those two turns. Really bad for us. I think we do. F nah. I suppose I can get rid of the slime now. look for the weekend but I, don't, I guess I don't need to do anything here all right it's okay so we're looking at eight times six which is pretty good it's 48 right What, what is it, what is worth playing here? Is it worth going for Kunai procs? Probably not. I guess we're getting rid of the slimes is worth. I go for the weekend is worth, huh? I guess going for the Kunai procs is worth. I could just keep passing, yeah.
Is this a fission turn or just a weakened turn? We need, we need to get that one lightning back. That was my bad, because now I don't have damage. So I need to get that one lightning back. That was my bad. So I gotta do recursion lightning back. I mean, I guess I can get rid of the... Uh, I can get rid of the... But that was my bad, because I needed to... I like having the energy, so I want to do recursion. I messed that up. I gave him strength for no reason, but yeah, we'll put another zap in. Damn it, Tempest. Yeah, we need that that zap. The zap just kind of just kills him for free. Where is it? Oh, I can just do all for one for it. I don't really need energy when I have to pass out the time. It's true. I don't need to. I don't need the energy. This is lethal, no? Is in Tempest lethal? Yeah, I signed I signed once on the bass the lot this this time meter fight. I messed up the time meter fight. I was playing way too many cards. So I did science the time meter fight, unfortunately. I don't know how we're gonna do against the heart. I'm curious. I think Yo, thank you, R Travis. Thank you for the host, man. Since I don't have the loop, I think we might have trouble. I suppose we could just rest, although maybe apotheosis? Nah. Thank you, Shanzo. Appreciate it, man. Even 600 bits. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. And also, Giant Fifi. Thank you for the 100 bits. Yeah, I didn't want a science. I actually had... I just fucked up. I played too many cards. It's okay, though. What are we doing here? Are we resting? Yeah, you just gotta pass against time meter. That was my bad. I was coming up as laggy. It could, could be could be coming up as laggy maybe. What is something that's important to get upgraded before Pathos gets hit? Maybe compile just to help me find into Empower or skim to help me find apotheosis, or maybe just rest, right? We need as much life as possible. This fight is no joke. So bits is a little bit better for the for the streamer. They get more of it. And also they get like the bit meters and they also can have like a cool little icon with the bits. And the bits show up on the on the stream. It's just a different way to donate. Oh, thank you, Shanto. I think it's rest or smith the power exhaust card. I think it's either. I think we got to smith a card draw like uh, skim. Just so I can find apotheosis sooner. And maybe that one extra turn is significant. Or maybe even apotheosis upgrade so that it doesn't lose that much when we play it. It's hard to be, like, it's hard to be laggy then. Is, is, it, is, it, is it really laggy? Like still? Or is it just when the bits come up? Play it safe to rest. Oh, the chat overlay is also laggy. But this seems like a good upgrade. I agree. I think it is a good upgrade. Is that more important than having 17 more life right now? Huh. 
I'm gonna go with my gut here. Remove and charge battery. Do we like that? What are we removing? What are we removing, guys? Are we removing this go for the eyes? Or do we like the fact that it helps us get Kunai proc, it helps us get more weakened with the artifacts, and it also helps us have a target to change. No, remove no Melter's really good. I took Melter for this fight specifically. Helps clear the artifacts as well. You could also buy potions, yeah, you're right. I could buy plated steel and just buy that and be done with it. Is plated steel gonna be enough? With the is that seems very Plated Steel doesn't seem as worth Simply buy Consume. I don't know if I want to play Consume though. I think I want to have my orb slots the way they are. Which is why you should remove it. Drop out for Apotheosis. That's, that's, that's a good suggestion. Drop out for Apotheosis. Do we take the, the charge battery for 26? Does our deck need a charge battery? Let's be honest, we're probably going to die here. Or oh, remove Amplify. Yeah, I thought you said remove Apotheosis. I thought you were crazy, but remove Amplify seems okay, but I think Amplify Defrag is such a worthwhile combo to hit that, like, I had two Defrag Pluses, so hitting one of them with Amplify, it's, it's worth its weight. All right, let's go. 38 card doozy. Skim. Can we draw here? Yeah, why not? I could have done skim instead, but... Negative focus here sucks. Amplify deep frag. Amplify deep frag. We fission. Alright, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hologram for uh, skim. Is that worth, or do I, do I like the weak in here? Hmm. Do I like the weak in here? I probably like the weak in here to get rid of the deep. I probably should have done the weak in here. Fuck. Probably should have done the weak in here. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Man. Should have done dual cast, but I wanted to save the frost. <gasps> We're so dead. I fucked up so hard. I fucked up so hard. Oh my god. I we just got. Let's just let's just end it, right? I just fucked up so hard. Do I just end it? Go okay, science once. Oh my god. What did I do? I did the um. I did that so awkward that the um my hologram was really bad. Let me see. I, I didn't mind the draw pie here, but maybe that was kind of also premature. Too many skins? Yeah, maybe. I only have one skin, but did I skim too many times? My, probably. I want to get the frost orb going. I don't mind this turn. Not having the energy, not having energy sucks a little bit. That's the only problem. 
By doing that, I don't have the energy. But it, so I can do hologram defrag here. So hologram amplify, I said. Right? Amplify for defrag, but then I had no frost. I miss up the amp. Not like this, Philfish. Philfish. Yeah, what well, that that one doesn't really count. That was like that was a mistake. Yeah, no, I'm totally okay with just letting this run go, go. I wonder if we do Amplify Defrag again. The only problem is... I would need orbs, like Frost Orbs. I think we do hologram skim though. Although amplified defrag is pretty nuts. Like amplified defrag sets me up for the rest of the fight. So do we take that do we just take the damage now for amplified defrag? I think we just take the amplify defrag now and just uh might die. I'm gonna try it. I think we're fine. It should be blocked, but we could also get Kunai proc, which I don't know how significant that is. It's probably not significant. But I also want to cycle through my deck to get the frost sooner. I guess we block. I'm dead. GG. You should block it as much as possible. I don't know. I mean, it sucks that my defrag and the glacier at the bottom of the deck. I figured if we get glacier with the eight focus, we win the fight at that point. But yeah, I don't know. I probably played that wrong. I, I'll go back in the VOD and I'll take a look at that. I, I'm pretty sure I played that wrong. I'll look at the VOD later on. I could try to survive without using Fission. If I try to, if I don't do Fission, I could survive. Sure. It's a pretty bad turn. If I don't use Fission, it's a really bad turn. Because I had burns. And then we can save Fission for another time. For more bursts. And then that helps us get along if we use the fission later on we can get more card draw out of it and then hit our frost sooner and hit our defrag and stuff so get everything out sooner so maybe saving on the finish is worth it but the turn that we use fission we have one frost orb and three burns so we're taking like 25 26 to the face yeah i i don't know man there's a lot of things i could have done differently there i don't know i'm trying to think we probably can play bias cognition on that fight too. We can we can argue that that fight lasts at least four turns, so bias cognition was maybe okay. I drew into bias cognition, right? I neglected it, but maybe it was worth while playing it. It just seems premature to play bias cognition that early, though. Also, yeah, not using your tops compiled to ever pull cards. Yeah, I want to look at the vod. I'm sure there's a lot of things I could do differently. I'm not confident at all how I played that.